Stuart Dooley is a student at Tom Landry Middle School. He's a bit of a bully, but by God is he funny. Your dad got blown up. Hey folks, welcome to Squirrel Tactics. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, don't forget to check out our Patreon and our sister channel. Anywho, let's do this. So right up front, Dooley has a lot of quotes. In fact, they should be scrolling across the screen right now. And we probably won't be able to fit every one of them in the video. But let us know down in the comments what your favorite Dooley moment is. Don't worry, I'll tell you what mine is later in the video. Stuart Dooley, son of Tim and Melinda Dooley who we see in two episodes. First in, who spank with love when Peggy spanks Dooley after he mocked her in class while she was being observed, then bullied her alongside frequent co-conspirator Clark Peters, and eventually Dooley pantsed her. I pulled your pants down. Tim and Melinda take Peggy's side, and here Melinda sounds like and gives the same delivery as Dooley. You did. Good. But Peggy gets fired anyway when she's brought back as paddling Peggy. Buenos dias, class, eh? Senor Dooley, I thought you were suspended. I thought you were fired. <laughs> She goes a little off the deep end before making amends with the students and we move on. Their other appearance was in Behind Closed Doors where Dooley runs away. Dad, Dooley ran away from home. He left a note with only two words, I'm gone. Only to show back up during a glorified live infomercial. I'm back. And we get to hear what Peggy really thinks of Melinda Dooley. Melinda and I took different paths. Let's just say her clothes weren't the only thing that got casual on Fridays. I will leave it at that. Our values. Towards the end of the episode, Bobby bribes Dooley to go missing, allowing his family to take their spot for getting their portraits by Ron. I have three months allowance saved up. It's all yours if you just run away for a little while. You have an hour. So Dooley's first appearance was in Square Peg, where he debuts as only Dooley could. Hey Bobby, your mom's gonna teach sex ed. Yeah, I know. We're gonna get to see her boobs. So? Bobby, you're up. Come on, Bobby. Your dad lost his job. He attends Bobby's birthday party in Shins of the Father. This party's boring. Everybody hates you. And of course has this scene with Bill. I'm having fun. Your wife divorced you. He points out the obvious, which is kinda his thing, in King of the Ant Hill. You've got ants. He has a short conversation with Peggy Hill while waiting to see the principal. Well, Dooley, a preteen girl is like a skinny little tree about to enter the hurricane of adolescence. And if we don't protect and nurture this little tree, before you know it, she'll be bitter and pregnant. For that reason, I'm asking the principal for new basketball for the girls. I peed in some kid's locker. Yeah, and he had this to say when Peggy's meeting didn't go that well. Girls' sports are a joke. In I Remember Mono, he makes fun of Bobby when it turns out that Bobby's secret admirer is his grandmother. Your grandmother loves you. He plays an Illinois volunteer infantryman in a class reenactment of the capture of one of Santa Ana's fake legs. Attack. Look out! It's the Illinois volunteer infantry! Hop on, General! I stole your fake leg. By the way, if you're interested in the story of Santa Ana's legs, the real one, and the fake ones, we did a video about it over on Squirrel History. We see some of his bullyish ways in Husky Bobby, where he and some other boys attend a local fashion show for Husky Boys. What is this? It's a fashion show for plus-size boys. There's going to be music and a fog machine, and it all goes to benefit the schools. Plus, free donuts. We'll do it for the schools. And they end up bringing it to a complete and utter standstill when they start throwing donuts at the Husky Boys.
Hey, where do these go? Right here is fun. In a firefight and we will go, he makes sure that everyone knows that the guys are only volunteer firefighters. He's a volunteer. He keeps Bobby from dodging a question in Love Hurts and so does Art. Yes, you. Will your toe be better in time for the dance? I'm sorry, Connie. I was pointing to the gentleman behind you. Answer the question. And I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. I want to know right now, will it be sorry? Do 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 Yeah, the, the whole song thing. Yeah, that's the actual title. He's in the closet with a girl while Bobby tries to show Joseph how to act with Connie, which is, yeah, as odd as it sounds. And after Connie figures out what's going on and storms out, we get my second place favorite, dualism. Joseph likes to watch. In Hank's Choice, better known as the Doghouse episode, Peggy uses the unoccupied doghouse as an office for tutoring students, in this case tutoring Dooley in Spanish. I have a client in here I am trying to tutor, so cool it down. Okay. Water. Agua. Perfect. Good boy. And we're going to go down a bit of a short rabbit hole here. We see Dooley be decently fluent in Spanish. In Espanol, por favor. In episodes like To Spank With Love. Señor Dooley, bang up. You're dead. In Espanol, por favor. To Eres Muerto. And in Lupe's Revenge, when Peggy supposedly became the first substitute teacher to lead a field trip on foreign soil. You're just a sub. You can't give extra credit. Well, no, not towards your grade. But you will get credit with me. And those piggy points add up. She, of course, mistakenly takes the kids to a butcher thinking that it's a carnival. My chicken is the star of the show. <laughs> and we get my number one favorite Dooley moment with this exchange that shows that he speaks better Spanish than Peggy and he knows it. I drank the water. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, in Espanol. Tu eres puerca. Ah, oh, muy bueno. And I'm with Cupid. He shows his support when walking up on Joseph returning flowers to Bobby. You totally didn't have to do that for me, and you totally did. You totally rock. That took courage. And later gives us this gem. Cupid is here. He's got one arrow left, and it's going straight into Connie Supanusen Pone's heart. Bobby Sprout. Ow! You shot her in the eye. Oh, gross! You licked it! In the substitute Spanish prisoner, it's Dooley that leads to Peggy Hill justifiably reconsidering her intelligence after this exchange. I got number four wrong. Explain it. Please. Okay. True or false? A circle of diameter three has a larger area than a square of side three. And the answer, of course, is false. Why? He did not have seven minutes in heaven and an unsupervised co-ed party in Get Your Freak Off. I want to go home. All right, who's next? He's part of the student walkout in Bobby Ray and has an odd takeaway from the experience. Tell me more about jail. Just go home, son. He's part of the special education class that Principal Moss cooks up in No Bobby Left Behind, where we get to see him irritate Coach Kleehammer. Okay, Dooley, I've got a five pound medicine ball in this head and a 10 pound medicine ball in this head. If you were to multiply the weightage of both balls together, what would you get? I pass. Oh, for. Ah! And he's part of the diversity study in Tears of an Inflatable Clown. You, circle. What is your heritage? Dutch. The Dutch. Windmills, wooden shoes, apartheid. He signs up to be a paper boy and bystand me. Is your dad making you get a paper route too? I'm building character. 
And finally, the last we see of him is in Cops and Robert, where he and Clark Peters are caught playing hooky. I tell you, Bobby, it's just nice to nab some suspects. I'm a suspect. So overall, Dooley is quick-witted and dry-humored, but it's pretty easy to see why he's many people's favorite character. He is a bit of a bully, he's pretty good at Spanish, but everybody remembers Stuart Dooley. Connie! Look at this file cabinet they're throwing out at the office! Your dad is white trash. But I only saw one set of footprints because God was holding me.